Hey everybody, Charlie 2 here and welcome back to Starfield. We last left off, well, we got our key codes so that we can access the archives. The sun is kind of glitching out. Um, I'm sorry if you are sensitive to that. Um, I imagine everybody on this planet is having a hard time with that as well. But anyway, we're going to go back to Mast, I believe it's called. How do we get there? Showing down here. And we're going to turn in those keys and go to the archives and get some Terramorph information. Can we just go like... Uh oh, we're getting in the water. Oh, it's not that deep. Okay. Not too bad. So it's showing down here. So I imagine we just take the elevator. I don't know why the icon is not on the elevator. Okay, it is. What? Oh. Sorry. All right, then. Let's head down. Um, cabinet chambers. I guess there was an elevator down there or an entrance down there. So you go talk to this hey, lady. Good. We're here to help. Pardon. Captain, you're back sooner than... Oh, oh wait. Did, did you actually succeed? Yes, With I succeeded. Radcliffe and Balmore. We're all in agreement. Yes. Code pieces from House Rune and the Freestar Collective. Oh, Freestar Collected. Ready to be deployed. So the old man was still lurking around in there. Fine work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Something I have to memorize? Here the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mass. Oh, so it's here. Absolute best behavior down there. All right? You mean I can't steal everything? You didn't just give me a bunch of money? I wanted money. Can I have your UC coffee mug? No, I cannot. You're lame. I don't like you. What is this? Desktop fish bowl. I kind of want one of those. Can we decorate the interior of our ships? Like, I know we can just place items down, but I know historically in Bethesda games that tends to not be the most reliable thing to do. These tissues are floating. Everything on this table is floating. See, see my point? Point proven, instantly. What are you guys <clears throat> doing? Don't you ahem me. Bradley Cooper wannabe. All right, so. I guess we go. Shit, it was just across the way, so... Shouldn't take too long to get there. Captain, I'm, can I help you? I'm assuming this ends with our citizenship, right? Is that, like, the goal? And then I guess we buy a house. I want to buy a big ship, though, more than I do a house. I just want to live on it. Alright, where do we need to go? Is it just over here? Is it this building? Hey! How are you? What is up with your eyes? Are you okay? Are you human? That was creepy. Alright. It's a cool looking design on it. Whatever that is. Building? What is this? Just a place to... It's a desk? What is this? It's a buyer's market right now. Good time to make a move. Is this realty? Welcome to Feeling Realty. It is. I'm Zora, and I'm here to help with whatever you may need. What brings you in today? Looking to settle down, or move up in the world, or just window shopping? How much does a house cost? I don't think I can afford to live here. You know, a lot of people say that after they see the big high-rises with the fancy lobbies. Truth is, there's always an option. Don't count yourself out. I'm here if you have any more questions, or if you'd like to look at properties. I'd like to look. Okay, let me just pull up your data. You're not going to show me. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're not a United Colony citizen. I'm afraid property ownership here in New Atlantis isn't available to you. 
if, if you take the exciting step of becoming a citizen, we'll be here for you. I just want to see the properties. Oh, don't I wish. Between UC regulations and demand here in the city, I haven't had a chance to branch out yet. But you best believe I'm keeping an eye on the situation and actively lobbying for a little more leeway. Enjoy your time in New Atlantis. Okay, we'll come back uh, when we buy a house, I guess. Or, let me rephrase that. We will buy a house once we get our citizenship. So this is kind of like the UC, I'm assuming that's Freestar Collective. Where's the house for ruined ones? Do they have one? Huh, maybe not. Here's the archives. It's a vault. Both sides decided the time had come to bring the colony war to an end. So the two parties came together to negotiate the terms of the armistice. Fleet sizes would be capped, mechs and xeno weapons outlawed, and all research related to those fields would be kept under lock and key in their own special archive, which actually rests below our feet as we speak. And while these new restrictions transformed the settled systems overnight, Entire economies were upended with a flick of a pen. They also marked the start of something critical. Cooperation between the United Colonies yes. and the Free Star Collective. Okay, that's a nice speech. We're not going to listen to the whole thing. She's basically just saying what we saw on the murals. Alright, so... Hello there. You're Free Star. You're UC. Your hair is shiny? Is that what that is? Yes. Okay, Captain, this is more tech than I expected. Please approach the monitoring station and we will go over the rules. Welcome, Captain, to the archives. To proceed, you will need to deposit your codes into the three corresponding receptacles. Once they are verified, I will open the door. Your data resides in Unit 18. 18. You will not be able to access any of the other units. Once you've collected your data, return to the entrance. You may insert the first of the archival codes when you're ready to begin. Why'd you put them all in like weird spots on the wall? One. She said 18, right? Two. And three. Forbidden knowledge. Going to unit 18. Collect data. Leave. Surprised there's not like an armed guard in here with me. Alright, well that was simple enough. I now have forbidden knowledge in my possession. You know, just... Some person who just happened to drop in on a planet that was being attacked by a xenomorph. Or a colony on a planet. It looks like shark fin, right? So now what are we doing? We're going back to... Back to mast. Can we, can we warp to mast? We cannot. I don't know what shows down there. I don't know how to get to that entrance. But I do know how to get up here, so we're just going to go do that instead of trying to search for that entrance because I believe that will just end up taking more time. Alright. Let's do it. What do you got to say to me today? Keeping the skies safe out there? You darn tootin'. Alright. Okay, so... I used to be an actuary. Now look at you. Yes? There you are. Captain? Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. You sure you're not gonna double-cross me? Time for us to start getting some real answers. And figure out if we've been asking the right questions. 
You sure the so answer you're, you're looking for is here? I made someone a promise. Adrian, can you assure me this data will be used for good? I... Yes. It will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This... This is us starting to put some things right. I knew not to so take people at face way, value. We've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back of where course. you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with Safety first. measures for what? Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Wait, I'm a citizen, citizen like now? So, safety measures does not bode well for me. Does that mean you're going to try to capture Terramorphs to study? We, we all know how this is going to turn out. They're going to escape. It's a bit weird to have the, like, like, rough concrete and then throw, like, these colors on there. I do like the colors, though. Old primary colors like that. Very, uh, like I said, reminds me of, like, early 80s, like my childhood. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we haven't been to this room. It was close to us before. Is this where we get sworn in as a citizen? Oh, this is cool. Whoa, what is that? And there's, like, a lake? Okay, yeah, we gotta explore this planet. Look how much stuff there is here. Oh, there's stuff everywhere all right give me my citizenship all right captain are you ready to become a citizen of the united colonies this doesn't mean i can't be a citizen elsewhere does it it doesn't good we don't really care where else you might have been or might become a citizen once you earn your place in the united colonies it's perfect yours. i don't want to be locked out all right fine then good this isn't the only item we need to discuss so I'll give you the short version. I can just push you right now and you'll Please be dead. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. That's a good hand through model. Service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Sure. I will. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here. Your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office Money. out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. What? There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. Okay. And they've stated they'll Can only they deal share with your with hair? You. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Yes, because I'm a video game character and I can literally only tell people when it's a prompt that allows me to do so. So, sure. Who are you talking about? Who asked for me? I'm sorry. I can't share any more without your word. Do I have it? Yes, spurs the word. Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. Ooh. Level 10 and our little patch changed. Hold on, we're going to level up real quick, lady. Can we do lasers again? Not yet. I wanted to do mercantile. Have we... We haven't done that yet. We can't do boost yet. We can do locks, and I think we may want to do that. Advanced and auto attempts can be banked. We also can do commerce, which gives us more money. 10%. So if we buy for less and sell for more, I mean, that just overall sounds good. 
Uh, we can carry more. Can't do this yet. We're doing merkin. We're doing commerce. I'm curious if it makes sense to kind of unlock all these skills and then worry about leveling leveling them up, or is it worth it to focus? I mean, obviously, these will, this is a ton of skill points we're seeing here, but I want to make it down to these higher levels. Like, I can't on the vast majority of them. I'm hoping I'm going to have a ton of level ups. We shall see. Maybe we can get awarded skill points for things, too. All right. We can purchase land now. We have a good amount of money, too, and I imagine our ship is higher value due to the parts we put on it, or at I least I hope so. A free wheeling space ace. Must be nice. Don't you talk about me like that. Let's go to subsection 7. Once we're done with this, before we go to Mars, we need to go sell stuff and see about our ship. What is this? What is that? Disco ball? Can we just have things here? This looks like storage. Danger. Material repository. It's a heck of a building here. A level clearance required. What is this? Ah! Ah! Door opens out. You should have told me that. This one too? Looks like it. No, it opens that way. So they didn't kill these people. They kept them in s confinement. I see now. You're her dad. President Abeo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy. Lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can Are get. Are you my Hannibal Lecter? Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? You're Vevictus. Uh, given the amount of security, so you're damaged, dangerous. Uh, you do look sort of familiar. Ah, uh, there's a reason for that. You're Vevictus. I know who you are. Introductions first, though. I'm Francois Fanon. But most know me as Vevictus. I was an admiral during the Colony War. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here. A sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. My God, the UCB is, UC has been lying all this time. I know they're lying. They're a government. All governments lie. They're horrible. But they're a necessary horrible. I don't see an alternative that would make sense. But that doesn't mean that you have to trust them either. Definitely one of the chattier ghosts I've met. Except about what you actually want. Sanan, that's hatred. No, we're not that dumb. The UC faked your death then. We know that. So, what'd you do? Wait, what? These are our options? This does not fall in line with how I feel my character would feel. What do you want? I want to help you and my progeny Hadrian prevent more attacks. Though I am curious, has she shared with you the nature of our little family? Yeah, you're. she's a clone. Trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been 
a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established, and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. Fine, I'm listening. We'll do just fine on our own. Not every day I get a chance, chance to work with a man living in a fish tank. Can you tell me more about this cloning program? It was an attempt by the United Colonies to solidify its own legacy. Forging a new generation of great leaders. They were raised by adoptive families made up of scholars and tacticians. Trained at the United Colonies' greatest scientific and military academies. Displayed incredible promise. But by the time the colony war came to a close, there was only Hadrian. But that's ancient history now. You have much more pressing matters at hand with which I can help. How can you help? After some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams, helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. What do you need? You track down war criminals? People like you? How's that work out exactly? <laughs> well, who better to find them? But many of them I knew personally. And I've always had a mind for details. Where someone was born, next of kin. <laughs> You'd be shocked how often an otherwise brilliant criminal flees to the planet just next to the one where they were born. Or where a family member resides. I simply use my own personal knowledge and the information our group collects for me to track them down and set things right. Uh, go on. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlais. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done. And I'll tell you what I know. So, I don't mind going and getting this mech guy, but I think I kind of see where all this is going. You want the Terramorph information so that you can create those weapons yourself. And the reason you want me taking out this mech guy is to make Freestar weaker so that you guys are stronger. How about I arrest him and turn him over to the UC? You can certainly try. But the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. How do I know you're not asking me to kill an innocent man? Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up this loose end at long last. Though I would ask you, do not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. I definitely want to speak to McIntyre. Why have me do this? Why not hand this over to the members of this recovery team? Captain, your files indicate a track record of unlikely successes. It is my genuine hope that, perhaps down the line, you might become a part of our team. And this might be something of a tryout. Hmm. 
not killing anyone, but if he's actually as bad as you claim, I'll consider bringing him to justice. I'm not going to say that because I've murdered probably hundreds by now, just in the few hours I've been playing this. So, consider him dust. Good. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There is a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Okay. Like it. Can I break in here? I wonder what that is. Some type of a scanner. Is there anything in here I can loot? Doesn't appear so. Alright, well, let's leave. I'm just gonna leave that door open. Y'all have fun. You may proceed to the exit. Have a good one. Alright. We may or may not do that. I don't know yet. I told him we'd do it just so... Well, now what do we need to do? Why go to the cabinet chambers? We'll go check it out before we leave this building. But yeah, I told him we'd do it just so it would be an option and so we could get him on our good side. Oh, this is the deputy we have to talk to. I've already forgotten her name. Hello. McIntyre? Did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Um, it's not prepared for that. I don't see what the big deal is. Some old guy living in your basement. I could do that. I was not prepared for that. I mean, like, none of these fit. Surprised me too when I learned it. But the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years and kept far from any major decision making. But I do think it's worth re emphasizing. No one else can know about this. All right? I feel like it's very odd that you would trust me with this basically regime shattering information but sure keep it to myself good because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance captain that you're unhinged and that's not a good look for any of us now was there something in particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing you're not very good at this uh, the prisoner asked me to deal with Dr. Orlais. Figured you and I should discuss. Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... Killing him is out of the he's question. He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Uh, location of Hadrian's old research team members. Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Make him in now, alive. was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? No. Uh, I was supposed to head to the den. Anything you can tell me the about? The den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf. The second star station, actually, to bear that title. First one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. You think I'm being lured into a trap? Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake. But I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions here. went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. I'm good. All right. Uh, what do we want to do now? What I want to do now is go to my ship. Can I just see it from here? If I do this, can I warp from here to my ship? I think I can. Yes, I can. Nice. So I don't have to leave the building. 
I feel like that could possibly be abused. Let's exit the ship. First things first, I want to sell stuff. Looks like they've cleaned up all the Terramorph mess. That's nice. Let's go here. Got anything you need to... All right, we are on the sell menu. All. Uh, let's go by value. I think we're going to sell this thing. Yeah, we're going to sell it. Staggering modified lawgiver. I like that. We're going to keep it. Drum beat, we're going to keep. Nova light. I don't know if I like this thing. And it doesn't count as... It doesn't count as an energy weapon, but it does do decent damage. I don't know. We'll sell this one. Maybe if we get a better quality one. Crippling Solstice. EM we might need. Anti-personnel Osmium Dagger. Wouldn't they all be anti-personnel? Looks like a good dagger. It looks more like for puncturing than it is for cutting. I'm um, sure we'll sell that. Modified Equinox will sell that. Calibrated Eon. Modified Grendel. Calibrated Grendel. Coachman. Pretty sure we're going to sell that too. Uh, ooh, we're already getting Commerce. Hauler's Calibrated Ground Crew Pack. We're going to keep that. Trauma Pack. Ooh, it's like a better health. Didn't even know that was a thing. That's 10 seconds. This is 5 seconds. So it's a faster med pack. Inferno mine. I didn't seem to like the mines that well. So we're going to sell these. Um, Our mass is still very high. Why is our mass so high? Let's go by weight. Drum beat is heavy. It's only eight. You know what? We're selling that. We can get another one. Magnets, wire. These are all resources, so we should go store those. Offload. Trade authority is always by. All right. Kiosk right here for you. And he's your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. Hush. And you can stop. What if you buy my ship? What do you I'm got sure for sale? You can find something you like. How do we see the value of our ship? Sell is why. Ooh. It's only worth ten thousand. Even with those upgraded weapons and such. Hold on. So, did we just lose tons and tons of money? Huh. Hold on real quick, dude. I'd like to modify my ship. Okay, no problem. Ship builder. Allows you to fully design, modify, and paint your ship. Oh. Oh, I didn't know this was thing. Build new ship models will cost credits, and deleting will give you credits back. Keep it running total. Okay. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do here. So, weapons. It's worth 3,000. Yeah, these are worth 12 a piece. So... How do I... How do I sell just these? What if I... Can I... Edit? What is... Cancel? Alright, hold on. Upgrade ship. So I got these things on. Um, 
It said uh, the other things were in my storage. Disruptor electron beam is 184. I feel like there's more options now than there was. Wait, why is that 808 credits? Why are there positive credit options here? Does it sell my old ones? I'm so confused. How do I sell these expensive parts? They're worth 25. I want to sell them off of my ship. Upgrade ship is A. So the reactor. Grab drives. Shield. Engines. All of these are giving me red credits. There are blue credits here. I don't understand that. Is that because I own these? But that doesn't make sense. Why those would give me credits. Not understanding something. Hold on. Everything looks good here. Yes, I'll be yes. At my booth Hold on. It said that my other parts were stored. So I want to check this out. Also, that's empty. Um, let's board. What can I help you with? Uh, tell me how to do the ship thing, cause it's vexing me. Transfer. This is all... None of these are... The ship stuff that I had. Helmets, throwable, spacesuit, aids, notes, resources, miss, all. Huh. So... I think, I think I did just lose a ton of money. Hmm. So what was he referring to that was stored in my ship? Yeah, what is it? I don't know. Huh. I think we need a hundred thousand to get the cargo ship, which is what I want. I want lots and lots of storage. Not too great at fighting Need some anyway. work done? Talk to me, Goose. And he's your new captain. Um, ships for I'm sale. I'm sure you can find some. Econo Hall. Costs 85. So we're not there yet. Where's the entrance to this one? That's on the bottom. So I like that a lot. Our jump goes down, crew goes up, shields the same, reactors the same. Power goes up, engine goes up. Alright, so we need more money. And that's fine. We'll get more money. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Okay, so where's the mission boards at? They have them here, right? Sorry, this place is huge, so it's, it's going to take some time for me to learn where everything's at. But yeah, I need to find a bounty mission. That'll give me credits. Yes, yes. That'll give me credits, and that'll give me experience. A 
also we can go ahead and continue what we were doing. I'm not seeing any bounty boards or mission boards around. Terror brew. Oh, can't go there. It's coffee. I know inside the lodge will be a mission board, but I don't know if they have regular missions there like we would want to do. This is information, right? Uh, buildings and services. Embassy, trade authority, bank. Med bay. Tell you what. Let's go to the lodge. What's the best way to do that? Not by hitting the wrong button, that's for sure. By doing this. And by going to the lot. Nope. Please. Go here. Um, travel. What about exploring this planet some, too? It looks pretty cool. Maybe we'll do it on a small excursion. But first, I want to go to the mission board. I know there's one... I think it's in the basement. So we'll go check it out. Um, here it is. Now, I think this only does constellation missions, right? They're both explore. Locate Bolide Bombardment. What is Bolide Bombardment? We're looking for experience for to locate a planet with Bolide Bombardment. May require a survey on multiple planets within the system. Locate sentient microbial colonies. You know, both of these sound good. Mission located planet trade is the most challenging survey. You will need to search an entire solar system for a planet that has the target trait. Locate planets in the target system that have the traits. This is indicated at the bottom planet info card, the star map. Unsurveyed planets will have unknown traits. Okay. Got a couple. Let's see if we can do... There's a modified coachman right there. Take the ammo. Is there any more weapon racks on the walls that I've missed? Is there anything I can do to, let's say, this Equinox? Can we do a mod to the laser? Laser sight, we need he neon and helium. A reflex sight, if we want to put a scope on it, we need higher optics and laser mods. Muzzle. Can't put a muzzle on it. Magazine and battery. We can change it to EM. Which we've already got one of those. Large battery. Which we need mods. Small battery or standard and then tactical. Lighter. Increases aim down sight speed and reload. So affect the... doesn't affect the... Oh, we need lithium. I thought it might affect the damage. We got an amplifier cover. Internal mod. We can overclock it. Precision tuning. Need iridium. Makes it heavier, but more accurate. More accuracy is what we need. Semi-auto or fully auto. Don't want fully auto. Constellation skin. Um, we need to do research. Do we have a research table here? That's the one with the microscope on it. I don't see it. There's one at my ship, so let's just go back to the ship. And then we'll head out to do something. I, I want to explore this planet a bit. Let's get up.
It's a long animation. All right. You got something for me? Wait, you're still on my ship? I sent you away, didn't I? Oh, because she's a crew member. Okay, that makes sense. All right here. Can we do any of these, like weaponry? We got barrel mods, optics, and lasers. We want to do. We need chloro silanes. Okay, equipment. We need polymers. Where are we going? What are we doing? Decoration. What's next for me and you? Need an ornamental. So we can't do any of this, can we? Well, we do got material available here. We got bread. We got red meat. Add no cheese. Beverages. We can add neither of those. Mixology. No. Well, I thought we'd be able to do a lot more of these, but turns out we can't. All right, let's go ahead and deposit our resources. Transfer um, from inventory. Resources, store all. Apparel. Why do I have these? I wanna keep this, that just looks cool. Uh, I don't know why I have this helmet. I should sell that. Where did I get these from? They're like no value either. Those are just... I don't want to even want those. Packs. Let's store this. When we go material hunting, we can bring that back out. Animal aid notes. Misc? What do we got? Her tag, high speed data cable. Don't know why we have those. All right, where are we going? Let's go somewhere on this planet. First of all, show resources. There's a moon, there's also an industrial outpost and a fracking station. And we can just land like anywhere. What's at this outpost? Let's go see. Ship's turret is less accurate than its pilot's control web. Turret? We can have auto turrets? Setting down. Is this what Everything I want? In the green. Oh, this is cool. I don't know what this is. We're gonna check it out though. This plane is beautiful. Oh, there's like flying creatures? Parrot hawks. Hey dude, just wanna knock over that ladder? Nothing wakes you up in the morning like the sounds of heavy machine. Um sure. I wanna see if I can Are they attacking? Let's see if I can scan these things. What? How did I not make that? I even got hurt from that. Although, I thought I could do three of these. There we go. Hello. Entertaining visitors Can I have this? part of my job. Grip Light's got another thing coming if they think we're working overtime. You think I can do uh, to help? You want to take a job here? That's a new one. Most of my workers are counting the minutes until their contracts expire. If that was a serious offer, check out our mission board. Available jobs are listed there. Where's your mission if board? If you'll excuse me. creatures over there. Don't look at me. Look over there. I want these credits. Who 
is detecting me? Also, we need to see if we can get this parrot hawk. That's why I came up here in the first place. I don't think I can see them. I have to wait for them to like land or something. There's one. Hey, we got one. Out of like five. Are they fighting those things? That's cool. That thing's getting its butt kicked. Alright, so if we do this, and then we jetpack right before we hit the ground. Good, right? Wait a minute. You see how you guys said you had mission boards. Where are they at? Do they pop up on my scanner? Not exactly seeing them. There we go. Nope, that's not a mission board. That's just like a forklift. Okay, there's a crate I can steal stuff from. Helium. We'll take that. Alright, let's scan some stuff. So outpost here is unknown. It's a structure if we scan it. Lead. We'll scan that. Storage box, which is considered stealing. Got another one of those things. Glossy stickweed. It's got fiber. What is this? Broadleaf rose. Nutrients. Spiral creeper. Toxin. There's that bird thing. It was attacking these. It's like a group of something over here. It was attacking. Let's just scan these. I think the scan data is actually more valuable than the stuff we're getting from it. Something here. Argon. Oh, these things are all dead. I guess that bird thing killed all of these. Oh, you want to kill me too, huh? Good luck. I mean, I'll fight you with this. Parrot Hawk. Uh, yeah, it's defensive. I can see that. There's another one in the air. There's one over there. We're just trying to do research. And all of these. Is there anything I want from them? Toxins. Don't think I do, to be honest. All right, let's keep on going. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. What happened there? And then we can just grab water, right? Why does it keep making me look in the sky? There, it's weird. It's super weird. I'm playing on controller. It's clearly not me doing that. Crocodont. Argon. There's a lot of animals here. 75% scans. 88. What is going on with my 
view. It's very weird that that's happening here. Am I, like, crossing some sort of threshold in the code or something? 50%, 38, 25, 63, more argon, broadleaf rose is done, some more parrot hawks. Could do with a little health. Let's go ahead and take one. Don't need the broadleaf rose anymore. Beetle grazer, you're new. Seem harmless enough, right? Glossy stickweed. Lots of argon. Herding Reef Walker Scavenger. 63. 75. Wind farm, I'm assuming. What do we got here? Tufted Snow Willow. Spiral Creeper. Apex Parrot Hawk. Already got that. Let's scan this. What is this? Like a well or something? I assume so. I'd like to go to one of these points of interest. I'm trying to finish up these and fauna scans but man you set to scan so many of them I wish the scan upgrades would mean that you would scan less times because I would definitely want to go for that 63% I'm just wandering around right now there you go spiral creeper is done fluorocylates we need these we got two I think that's what we need for the optics. Argon. More argon. What is this? Not lead. What is this thing? Occupied cave. Let's go to the occupied cave. That sounds interesting. Whoa, scanner. Don't freak out on me. I right, got plenty of those now. Reef Walker Scavenger. Let's see if we can get some of these. Get you two. And you. Okay, we're 100% scanned on those. Need more of the birds. Occupied cave is right up here. Not very far at all. What is this? More of those scavengers. I guess those bird things have been just murdering them. What is this? Unknown. Life signs. Curious. Alright, that's done. So, three of eight plants, four of five resources, one of nine fauna. We're not doing so hot, are we? in a grub. We can't scan you. Can't scan a Zinner grub.
occupied cave this way. And dead body. Miners? This doesn't look good. Take your credits though. What killed you guys? All right, we'll find that out next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.